Welcome everyone to another live stream, in case we are somewhat live. A new release is out of the alternative to GCC compiler LLVM, the low level compiler infrastructure with C language front end CFE, or uh, since the last year is also called Clang or Clang. And um, so waiting for this already quite some days and weeks was already a little bit delayed here. And uh, due to as usual last minute minutes bugs fixes, you see this also in real world with our recurring work here. And uh, so uh, there is nothing I went you through here already, nothing that major jumps out here immediately, but of course it's nice to see nonetheless uh, certainly hundreds if not thousands of people worked on this for many months. So even as nothing is that jumping out here, it's certainly nice to see certainly a large release all over the place. So many small fixes, improvements. Uh, it's, it's, I would wish actually they sort this a little bit, although maybe this is a work of uh, press and YouTubers like us to distill here the biggest changes because a yeah, non-comprehensive list starts here with yeah, whatever um, opcode something enable. So let's scroll to the big news, although maybe there are some big news hiding, but it doesn't immediately jump out there. Um, yeah, changes to the internal immediate representation, LLVM IR, this uh, internal low level bytecode format here. And otherwise, new support for new, uh, yeah, this is also by the way ARCH64, <laughs> this is for those who never heard about this, that means in ARMS internal names ARM64, otherwise called ARCH64, in my opinion, pretty dumb name, but whatever. Edit support for new ARMS cores here, Cortex A65. So that means new instructions that can be generated for improved performance. And also yeah, optimized for previous existing ARM version 8.1 M code generation, including low overhead loops, auto vectorization. And uh, to your and probably my surprise, they still improve non x86 stuff like MIPS. Certainly nice to see, or slightly probably I should check who is doing that. Um, or maybe MIPS um, technologies, although it is, is for the Octeon family, so maybe not MIPS technologies. But anyway, certainly nice to see. I'm somewhat tempted to actually try this on MIPS, like maybe see if LLVM Clang can work on the SJ Octane or other machines. Um, also, yes, yeah, you see what kind of bugs do they sometimes work on. For example, here, yeah, fix ev evaluation of J format branches. Previous video, we took a look there in the internal instruction format of MIPS and other RISC architectures, for example. And um, also here was some other uh, targets here, yeah, when instructions not in the first 256 megabyte region too, if, if you were wondering why stuff is buggy and sometimes crashes, then yeah, maybe it jump was too long. And um, yeah, also surprisingly some power PC love, certainly from IBM or others probably I should actually take a look again how precisely this is doing. And also yeah, register pressure estimates for loop vectorizers, so meaning potentially creating higher performance vectorized loops for maybe. As usual, leave me in the comments below, should I spend this time because like on the P3 or SG Octane for the Power PC and MIPS, because honestly I updated this here, so T2 of course not only for vintage architectures, T2 our source based Linux distribution, but also the latest and greatest. So of course T2 being state of the art and professionally maintained, we updated this today already, tested this already, even spent some extra work on um, having here an LLVM Clang only system, previous many videos, even with Musil instead of GLPC. So each day I work on details like this stuff becomes even better because as usual took an hour or two here and there to it's still not, yeah, was a nightmare. Previous videos, long nights spent on this integration. And yeah, leave me in the comments below if you would be interested. Because honestly, it takes enormous, really a lot of time to just test this on poor PC and MIPS. So yeah, certainly doesn't make sense if nobody wants to see it or is any value for that. Then finally, x86 targets, a target that you were waiting for. Some changes here look a little bit strange to me. For example, here one is um, for example, this one, less, less than 128-bit vector types, and probably need to make a dedicated video about single instruction multiple data, but they now store the lower bits in, of, in the XMM register, the extended registers for... Um, also, yeah, now we have some 
YouTube failing because now. Um, so they have a really interesting note of storing this in the upper bits were undefined. So previously the elements were spread apart with undefined bits. It doesn't really sound to me like, yeah, if the function is the same, performance should be the same, but maybe that's standard compatibility with uh, linking code with interlinking code with GCC. Um, to be honest, not the biggest um, stuff jumping out here, maybe most noteworthy for you playing along at home WebAssembly, this new uh, web like Java script high performance JavaScript replacement of running more native code in your web browser and maybe Internet of Things devices all around the world. Previous IT news videos, this huge alliance there of um, companies that want to use this on Internet of Things devices. But yeah, so um, if you want to use WebAssembly, then probably you're using LVM Clang and otherwise RISC V. Also, what actually would be somewhat more interesting for me personally is to test if we can use for our um, RISC V FPGA board here, previous video, to build this low-level operating system less firmware with Clang, maybe probably should try this another day. So yeah, certainly this is actually a larger section if you were wondering where's the most research and development resources spend these days. Um, so yeah, some rocket microarchitecture, groundwork for LTO, future releases, code lowering half precision floats, and so yeah. Um, all, as I said, not the most outstanding features. Performance-wise, the problem is I spent already longer than I should have today here on um, testing this system because even made here some notes, bootstrapping this total nightmare. I spent already in total not making this up. With the previous work, probably a whole work, a whole week of work I spent on just integrating this nicely because everyone can have a clang package, but having a previous video GCC less like GNU less system here with only LLVM ceiling works was actually quite a nightmare, especially LLVM clang builds relatively easy. Again, the problem is bootstrapping it cleanly, cross compiling it and um, also having this completely GNU-less because by default it's using the host system libc and um, GCC support libraries of runtime and C++ uh, STL. So uh, bootstrapping this quite a pain. Here with compiler RT there, this, uh, this is our sub-project there of LVM Clang fame, uh, implementing compiler runtime. For example, stuff like divide by 64 and other arithmetic shift and uh, stuff for the your CPU might not directly have support for or complex numbers and mathematic functions, power and so on. And yeah, then this is C++ stuff like the standard template library and ABI and Unwind. Um, and of course, yeah, somehow, but previous videos already, even this cleanup, so it, of course, I said this in the previous videos, it was a huge task, total nightmare. I got many gray hairs doing just that. And um, so benchmarking, I don't have benchmarking because already hours spent on this. But if we take a look here, um, also not to have too much to do today. Um, if we take a look on this, just as changes, uh, these are just the changes of previously integrated, somewhat mostly working all the previous videos and just making this stuff even nicer. Um, as you see, quite some changes here, although you can factor the uh, GCC out, so, well, except some enablement, but also, yeah, big cleanups of craft not needed anymore, nicely integrated now. Um, better integration of, um, yeah, bootstrapping this, also some dead code removal that was only copied from this Clang package. Um, this is GCC and uh, some more fine tuning of arguments and build order. Um, because what is so strange in this bootstrapping is that all the packages depend on each other and if you just want to compile uh, compiler RT or libcxx or ABI or libunwind, they always want the other. So it's actually quite tricky and cumbersome to configure it so that with some YOLOing it and, and smacking it and um, just hacking it to just build somehow. But so a lot of comments also removed that were just randomly there, but um, actually just um, 
fid fid fiddling out here this order of bootstrapping. Also, what is super strange is that, yeah, actually, so this is a strange thing is also bootstrapping you for compiling the C library. You need actually compiler RT because this has the symbols of complex numbers of divide uh, modulo and so on. So you cannot compile your C library and without compiler RT and you cannot compile compiler RT without your C library. So um, I manually fiddled around there like the last time, but stuff becomes more polished here with the day each time you spend an hour or two on this stuff and test compile this stuff. But T2 being T2, of course, this is bootstrapping now pretty nicely here live on this channel. Actually, I forgot using all the 32 threads here for this stuff, but uh, anyway, internet is as crappy that this doesn't matter the most. Anyway, so yeah, um, on ceiling, major new features. What do they have here? Major new features. Um, runs actually compilation uh, in the sub process uh, is done in process by default um, but it doesn't feel faster so it as per the previous videos this is still building here for two hours already and somehow not feeling the most um, snappy to be honest lots of new diagnostics and um, yeah previous video a decade ago when chris letner there was hired at Apple and back in the day it was like 50% faster than GCC. In the meantime, it's similar, slow, unfortunately. So yeah, if you're looking into some tiny C compilers and probably more into TCC. But um, yeah, new compiler flex, some warnings, some risk five stuff, some flex no work, what fixes it, whatever. Um, again, nothing too outstanding here, but nonetheless, I certainly appreciate all the uh, hundreds of thousands of work hours of people around the world getting into this. I wish this bootstrapping would be a little bit nicer. Actually, probably Linux will fail. Not sure. Do I? Uh, anyway, not sure. Maybe. But um, yeah, I wish this bootstrapping would be nicer. This is again uh, a really strange here. This order of even including zim linking and manual filling there. Of yeah, I slightly wonder why this of their projects. But maybe of the big companies, nobody is bootstrapping a clean operating system like us. All are just. YOLOing LLVM clang into their system and just don't care. But anyway, that's what we're here for doing this reporting and research and providing here, in my opinion, one of the best source code repositories of documenting and automatically scripting how this stuff is built together. So leave me in the comments below what you want to see. Are you interested in benchmarks or PowerPC, MIPS, P3, Octane? or just x86, uh, good old x86, and build a complete Musil-based system, which, fun fact, previous video I run already, one in production, just for testing, so some GNU-less only Musil and Clang of last month of previous YouTube videos. I hope you enjoyed this update. Again, certainly, yeah, I wish there would be some new feature, like 10% faster, but that's just how it is in the IT world. Usually it's just like 10,000 things a little bit better, some hundred bugs fixed and um, yeah that's it for this update uh, to keep you informed here each and every day and just document what you do on a daily basis here on keeping some embedded linux and otherwise virtual machine uh, source distribution maintained and how much work it is to certainly just updating the version compiling it into your system is one thing which by the way most likely i wonder if this breaks mesa um, very theoretically i could actually test this here live on a last note, um, here on probably emerge missing only Mesa. Do we have this on screen? Barley, which uh, building just Mesa. Wonder if this arrows out. Um, very likely, unfortunately, often uh, this kind of stuff, why other major distributions wait a month or six months. Um, yeah, I'm actually, um, yeah, internet not amazing here with this situation, everyone sitting at home, um, not making this up, how this can be that slow, I have no idea, um, but certainly we saturate all our barely available upstream bandwidth here with this live stream. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, uh, we give this here, uh, pity that this uh, probably should actually have this, pity that this is running this, but let's see, now it's done. So I give this here one minute to potentially error out or not, and um, as usual, leave in the comments below what you like to see here. Benchmarking, certainly so the stuff what usually people want to see, but honestly, the issue is that comparing this most likely will just be 1% here, 5% there. So honestly, like, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm personally 
more a little bit annoyed that it's getting slower and slower so I've honestly this feels already less snappy uh, also we probably could speaking about less snappy we could suspend this other build there but um, yeah it feels already less snappy to be honest I'm not sure if I just got used to the AMD Ryzen here but otherwise um, probably certainly all the sources load and getting larger each and every day that um, yeah actually I'm surprised that it compiled that long I should actually um, tailed that um, but that's what it is now I didn't expect it to actually build that long Mesa out let's see here we're actually compiling pretty far actually I'm surprised usually this breaks something I slightly wonder are we even using the latest version sometimes I still have the previous version in the system or are we not using let's see LLVM. okay this does also not have some LLVM whatever do we have that one no this is 10 as I remembered I updated this just a little bit surprised that this is actually still building so maybe good news then that the latest version of Mesa might actually be compatible if we don't get some last minute symbol missing or no this actually and if the stream does not disappear in the second then we successfully compiled Mesa and did not ruin our running OBS and Xox server anyway fun stuff didn't expect this to build but there you have it, it apparently did build um, do we have some uh, VM does it output the version here yeah so apparently yeah there we have it also at least one finding here that upstream latest Mesa version is it yeah so this is the latest Mesa version actually apparently compatible seldom find but also yeah either the Mesa developer already updated this or it's just not as incompatible anyway uh, we can compile our can continue compiling our uh, musical system here and um, as usual thanks for watching I hope you learned something probably also need to do some single instruction multiple data one-on-one -on -one video and programming beginners stuff with that being said we also have some other live stream because too many security vulnerabilities already accumulated so up live next on the more live channel our weekly security briefing here hope you tune in for that otherwise hope to see you soon for all the next videos and live streams to come